If you've ever felt like you're constantly questioning your own self-worth or walking on eggshells around your partner, this video is for you. Narcissistic behaviors can be subtle and insidious, but by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of the red flags to look out for in your relationship. These are red flags that you might be dating a narcissist. So narcissists are people who are overly self-focused and have an inflated sense of their own importance. They also lack empathy, so they're capable of doing a whole lot of emotional damage. So if you think you might be in this kind of relationship, buckle up as we explore 11 signs you're dating a narcissist. My name is Christina, and this channel is dedicated to recognizing and breaking free from emotional abuse. If it's a topic that has touched your life, consider subscribing. You'll find this is a very supportive community and we'd love to have you. And if you're in the stage where you're just figuring things out, I have a free resource on the stages of narcissistic abuse. You may find it helpful and you'll find a link for that in the description. So the number one sign you're dating a narcissist is your new partner instantly puts you at the center of their world. They don't even know you yet, but their world absolutely revolves around you. This is what we call love bombing, and it's the very first sign that you may be dating a narcissist. Consider this and everything on this list as red flags. So pay close attention to all the signs we're gonna to review today. And if you're seeing multiple signs, or if you're seeing patterns of abusive behavior, Take that as your sign that this may not be your happily ever after, after all. The next sign you're dating a narcissist is your partner clearly has an exaggerated sense of self-importance. They constantly talk about their achievements and how they're the best at everything. And they don't really wanna hear about anyone else's life or accomplishments. You may even notice that they get bored or interrupt the conversation when it's not about them. They may also start arguments and play what's called devil's advocate. And that's essentially just arguing with you when you're talking about your day or your life. So this serves two purposes. One, they get to play a starring role in the conversation now that it's turned into a full-blown argument. And two, they get you to start doubting yourself and your decisions. And that's really what playing devil's advocate can do. It does have a place, sometimes it's helpful. But when somebody's always doing that, they're always saying that, well, maybe you should have done something else. Maybe your decision was not the best. And that can really, really get to you. So the next sign you may be dating a narcissist is that they lack empathy. They don't care about your feelings or the feelings of others, even though it may sometimes seem like they do. So one example of how a narcissist may act in a relationship to illustrate their lack of empathy is when their partner is going through a difficult time. So this may be somebody who just lost a loved one or they're experiencing a health issue and the narcissist shows no genuine care or support whatsoever. Instead, they make the situation about themselves, shifting the focus to how it's all about them, about how this is really difficult for them and trying to use this as an opportunity to garner attention and sympathy for themselves. So this may look like if you tell your partner you're sick, you were just diagnosed with something and you're processing it and there's a lot of feelings going on. If you're with a narcissistic partner, a highly narcissistic partner, they may say, well, have you thought about how that makes me feel? Have you thought about how your diagnosis would impact me? So a narcissist may also dismiss or minimize their partner's feelings, telling them to just get over it or belittling them for being too emotional. This lack of empathy and disregard for your feelings can really cause significant emotional harm and damage to the relationship. Another sign, this is probably the classic sign that your partner is a narcissist, is that they are always right. And when I say always right, I mean they absolutely cannot admit that they're wrong. The narcissist always thinks they're the smartest person in the room and never ever wants to say that they made a mistake. Even if it's obvious, they'll still argue that they were right. They'll always have to be in control, making all the decisions and telling you what to do. It can be really frustrating and leaving you feeling like your opinions just don't matter. Another sign is when your partner is constantly seeking attention and validation. 
Now, narcissists are not the only ones who look for external validation, not by far. So again, you're looking for patterns of behavior and you're looking for multiple red flags. And of course, you want to look at it all as a whole so that you can decide what's best for you. What's your next move? So there are different types of narcissists and some of them want to be the life of the party and they can't stand it when someone else is getting more attention than them. And other types of narcissists, the covert type, they are a little bit more behind the scenes, but they still want the attention. They just don't want to make it seem like they're after it. So they're still going to act in a jealous way if you're getting more attention than that. So you may notice that when someone else shares a personal story or achievement, the narcissist will quickly jump in with their own and trying to one up them. They might even start lying or exaggerating their stories to make themselves sound bigger and better. Every conversation needs to revolve around them and they don't care if they're making anyone else uncomfortable or if they're overshadowing you in front of a group of people. Another sign that you may be dating a narcissist is that they have an obsession with their appearance. So if it's their physical appearance that they have an obsession with, they have a need to look perfect all the time. And you may even find that they criticize your appearance. So this type of narcissist who values physical appearance may spend hours getting ready before you go out, but then become angry or upset if you take too long to get ready. And they might even imply that no one cares what you look like anyway. But it's not just physical appearances that a narcissist may value. So if you're dating a narcissist, you may notice that they care a lot about their public image. They may want to project the image that they're financially or socially well off, or they may project the image that they're extremely empathetic, even though you notice mounting evidence to the contrary. Pay attention if they're extremely defensive or otherwise sensitive about their public facing image. Also pay attention if you notice actions that are not aligned with the image they want people to see of them. When actions and words are not aligned, it almost always means that someone is hiding something. The next sign you're dating a narcissist usually begins in the devaluation stage. And this is long after the love bombing has become a thing of the past. So this sign is that they will manipulate and gaslight you. And this is not always easy to detect at first, especially if they're good at what they're doing. They might make you doubt your own reality and twist things around to make it seem like they're the victim. So imagine you're dating someone who always seems to find a way to make everything your fault. You feel like you're constantly walking on eggshells around them and you're always afraid of saying or doing something that might set them off. They make you doubt your own reality by insisting that things happened differently from the way you remember them. They might even tell you you're crazy for thinking the way you do. Eventually you start to question your own sanity and start to rely more on their version of events. They twist things around and before you know it, you're the one apologizing for something that wasn't even your fault. So another sign that you might be dating a narcissist is that they use charm to get what they want. They're great at seducing and sweet talking you. And this will look different depending on the type of narcissist that you're in a relationship with. So if you're in a relationship with a more covert type, the charm may not be as obvious. It may even look like a sheepish kind of charm, but they are very good at using that to get what they want. And really it's just another way that they manipulate. So another sign you're dating a narcissist is that they have a sense of entitlement. And this is something that is infuriating when you're dealing with a narcissist. And this can really also be one of the hallmark signs of narcissism. They believe that they deserve special treatment and have no problem using others to get it maybe even hurting others to get it. They don't really have the emotional empathy that stops them from doing things like that. So now imagine you're dating someone who always expects you to put their needs first, no matter what. They demand that you cater to their every whim without any regard for your feelings or your needs. They expect you to drop everything to be with them, even if it means canceling your own plans or sacrificing time with loved ones. And not only do they demand this, but they really feel that you owe them this. And if you don't comply with their demands, they'll throw a tantrum or make you feel guilty for not doing enough. This is a prime example of how a narcissist can act entitled in a relationship, expecting special treatment without reciprocating or showing empathy towards others. And if you think you're dating a narcissist, look out for signs that they are devaluing you. They may criticize you, belittle you, or in some other way, make you feel worthless. 
Imagine you've spent hours cooking a special dinner for your partner, and as they take the first bite, they make a disgusted face and push their plate away, saying that this food is terrible and they can't believe you would even attempt to cook for them. Or maybe they criticize your appearance and tell you that you need to lose weight. Another sign you may be dating a narcissist is that they have a pattern of unstable relationships. And this may show up as a pattern of instability in your own relationship. If you've been in a relationship with a narcissist long enough, you probably feel like you're on an emotional roller coaster. And you may also be able to trace back a pattern of short-lived relationships even before you knew this person. They may also have patterns of infidelity. So they may admit to cheating with justifications, of course, it wasn't their fault. Or maybe they don't admit it, but they have a reputation for being unfaithful and you know it. Narcissists are notorious for patterns of unstable relationships and infidelity, often leaving behind a trail of broken hearts and unanswered questions. There is no closure in these relationships. So if you find yourself in a relationship with someone who has a history of these short-term romances and very little emotional investment, it could be a red flag for narcissism. Narcissists are constantly seeking validation and attention from others, which is a common form of what we call narcissistic supply. And they move on quickly when they feel their needs are not being met or if they get bored. And they'll do this during the relationship or they'll do it immediately after the relationship ends. So if your partner left their last relationship to be with you or if they met you and immediately after a previous relationship ended, they just fell head over heels. Definitely look out for all the signs we're talking about here today, because this is a red flag to pay attention to. The sooner you can leave a relationship with a narcissist, the easier it'll be to leave and the better off you'll be in the long run. So if you can do it in the love bombing phase, if it just feels off to you and you feel like you wanna get out, all the better. And if you think you are right now or have been in the love bombing phase with a narcissist, check out this video right here where I share seven signs that you've been love bombed. I'll see you next time.